hey guys welcome back to another vlog and today i'm showing you my life as a ul student so i'm doing some studies in the library and using my notes to help me and then i went and looked through the books the theme was about human interactions so i looked at books that really intrigued me Hey guys, just got back home. I just had dinner. My dinner was so good. I had like a plant-based burger. Oh my gosh, a plant-based beef. It was so nice. Today, my plan was to collect one of uh, a weaving board for my session for tomorrow. So it's gonna be online. This is the weaving board. Wait, give me a minute, wait, wait, wait. So this is the weaving board that we're gonna be weaving with this tomorrow. I can't wait to use it. In the morning, there was a briefing for the new unit and I took so many notes. My plan was to take the weaving board and go home. But then I had a lot of notes from the briefing and it was so useful. So I said, okay, I'm gonna collect my weaving board and go to the library, just do like some pages. And I did five pages, guys. Your girl is on work mode, okay? When I'm on work mode, I want to work, quick work, work. So when I have free time, I have my free time because I don't want to do work on my free time. I've got things to do. So I'm glad that's done. Oh yeah, I didn't, guys, they didn't tell you about my hair. So my sister's friend did my hair. I just put her water at the ends. I've never done curly hair ends. Comment down below if you like it because I am feeling myself. When I saw that my hair was done, I was like, oh my gosh, I look bold. But then when I got ready and all done, I was like, wow. Couple of days go by and I'm doing my warp. Warp is like the base of the weaving part so you can put the threads through. I picked yellow and blue because it goes with my project. This is me, doing some studies, you know, smiling and posing. This software is so cool, it was my first time using it. Thank God that my classmate helped me. And this actually helps me do designs. So when I'm doing it on the machine, it gives me a guide and shows what I'm doing. So I'm on my way to uni. I didn't have time to make breakfast, so I made an oatmeal, overnight oatmeal. I was supposed to eat it yesterday, but I forgot to put my bag. So luckily that I have it. Make my way to the train station. I'm gonna show you my day as a textile student specialised in weave. So, yeah. So this is the weaving machine that I spoke about earlier, so my warp inside. These are the threads that I'll be working with, I have a colour scheme, along with some paper strips and black fabric. Then I'm sticking my weaving draft near the machine so I'm weaving I could see the designs. And I'm putting the yarn through these wooden things, I think they're called shafts. But they helped me go through the weft, it's so great. And I did a few designs. If you're a weaving student or someone specialised in weave, you know that newspaper comes in so handy. Because right now I'm making my own bobbin. Well, it's not the small version, but it's kind of like a large version. I saw a piece of paper that was interesting, but I just left it. This is the like a bobbin machine and it helps you to put as much thread as you can. It grows and it grows. Like You can use as much as you want, but I don't want a lot. But from the side, it looks a lot. But this is how it looks now. And I'm putting through those wooden things that I was talking about that it will help me go under the weft. But I'll show you a proper angle. This is not the best one. But as you watch through, you'll see what I mean. So 
after lunch I went straight through reflecting my work just writing down what I did well what I could improve so this is what I got so far I'm so proud of what I did this is what I was talking about it's a proper angle now and just adding my designs from my weaving draft and then putting it through so it's like the patterns automatically add it into the machine so I don't need to keep like changing it it's me going under the weft doing more design Weaving is so enjoyable, but once you do a lot, you have to go through this long process where you have to pull out the warp out. I have more to weave through. So I'm just pulling it back so the tension is very tight, so it's not loose. And then you fix the back and I'm checking that they're not tangled as well because it kind of troubles the process. And I'm so obsessed with this design, it feels so nice. Today was very productive, but I'm so so tired. <sighs> Going to go home. I got this snacks here. I'm gonna eat while I walk to the train station. <sighs> I just need to sleep. When I got home, I felted my fabric, the piece right here, and the project was about movement. So I wanted to look like it was moving. I'm so obsessed with this. A long day of weaving i'm so glad that i'm done so i'm just adding some double-sided tape on my woven pieces where i'm talking to pam and one of my classmates and this was so enjoyable because i feel so relieved to like i finish everything guys ignore my hands like they're actually so dry <laughs> it's so bad but i'm just taking the tape out so this will actually help me to stick it on the wall because so i do want to see how it could look as an exhibition i saw one of my classmates doing it so i was like yes i'm definitely gonna put it on the wall so i can see how it looks i forgot to mention while you're using double-sided tape make sure you put it at the back of your pieces if you put it in the front the details are not gonna show For the exciting part, now I'm just putting my woven pieces on the wall along with my drawings. The drawings that you guys are seeing are the colour scheme, so my woven pieces are actually included in my pieces. So I just made a small viewfinder picking out different sections, and that's what we have. So I just merged it together because it was like a celebration, so annoying how it came off. But this is how it looks all together, so happy. When I'm having lunch, I step away from work, but I had an idea in my head that I had to write it down. So I wasn't writing all the way through, I was watching a video, I was watching Belize after. Going in the library is like having a best friend because I spent a lot of time in the library and the computer I don't have my own laptop. I was just writing my notes, taking my to-do list, and I wanted to make some changes in my submission because I forgot to add a few things. So I was taking images of my small exhibition that I had with the on the wall. So I just added them on. My arm was in so much pain. I was sitting in the desk for so many hours. It's nine in the night. I'm gonna go home. Thank you guys so much for watching this short vlog. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Share this video as well. And we'll see each other very soon. Bye guys.